According to data from the National Domestic Violence Hotline, four in five victims of domestic violence were women, which is why the YWCA is giving members of the community a chance to learn and understand more about domestic violence. KQ2's Josepher Williams went to the YWCA's In Her Shoes event and brings us more. The month of October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and the YWCA is giving people a chance to see what it's like to walk in somebody else's shoes. I've never done anything like this before. I thought it was a great opportunity to learn more about domestic violence and kind of understand what they go through. It teaches you things that you don't know or that you're not, it, it kind of gets you out of your comfort zone a little bit to learn how to deal with situations that aren't everyday situations for everybody. For years, the YWCA have been hosting their In Her Shoes experience to give residents an opportunity to fully immerse themselves in a simulation to understand more about domestic violence. Because it's not as easy as you think. Um, so you might go to the shelter and they're full and they have no room. So then where do you go? You know, do you go to your family? Many people don't want to go to their family. They don't want to get other people involved. So it just really helps you understand the dynamics of what these people are up against. In Her Shoes is an experience unlike any other that takes you through the trials and tribulations of an abusive relationship. So I was a mom with three kids and I was at any reservation and basically I was trying to talk to my elders about getting help. It was a it was a process because going back and forth, you know, trying to give my husband another chance to, you know, get things right, but I kept getting abused. It was very confusing and almost frustrating to feel like you know what the right answer is, but it would send you to every different option besides the the, the solution that you think is right because obviously everybody's situations are different. As I made my way through the simulation, I found myself being abused multiple times, like, going uh, to court and fighting for my three kids, in. and ultimately making it out of my situation. But the YWCA wants to remind people that not everyone makes it out of these situations. Just these different unique challenges that they face make it um, even that much harder. Um, and then you add in things like trauma bonding and the narcissism that goes along a lot of times with the abuse. Um, it just really mentally affects them and makes it just extremely hard to get out of these situations. As they're walking a mile in somebody else's shoes and getting abused three times, it's always important to remember not everyone makes it out of these situations. Reporting in St. Joseph, Joseph Williams, KQ2 News. The YWCA will be holding in her shoes on the 17th and 24th from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 5 to 6.30 p.m.